Let's cross now to the eyewitness and speak to Riol Volkul, who is a sports photographer. He was at one of the venues that was targeted, and that was the Stade de France, where France were playing Germany in a friendly. Um, you were there to cover this event for work, but obviously um, this incident happened while you were there. What did you see and what did you hear? Um, I was, well, I didn't really see anything because I was inside the stadium. Um, in the first half, I've heard two explosions. And it, for an explosion, it sounded a bit not normal um, because I've been to plenty of football matches and they don't usually sound like that. But I never, I didn't really kind of, you know, didn't, I didn't really think about it that much because I was quite busy doing the, um, uh, the, the match itself. And in the second half, um, another explosion was a bit far away. I, I heard it um, and I thought, well, you know, whatever, it's not. Thing. No, no one's panicking. No one's going anywhere. It must not be anything too serious. Um, and I received a lot of um, text messages from my wife, who lives in Berlin, and she was saying that all these attacks are happening all over Paris. Are you okay? Is everything all right? And then, um, yeah, then I, that's the that's the way I found out what was going on. After the match, I got to speak to her because um, during uh, any sort of like big event um, in a stadium, it's very the the, the network is pretty spotty. So once I got to the Wi-Fi, I started speaking to her um, and I found out what exactly was going on. And then I saw on the, uh, in the inside the media center, there was a TV and was showing um, all the people were filing on to the pitch, I guess, for some people who couldn't get out of the stadium or didn't want to take the, the public transportation at that time. And then, yeah, I took some pictures over there and then I yeah, just kind of waited until things settled down. Um, my was, there an atmosphere, friend, was there an atmosphere of panic uh, amongst no, the no, public? No. no. Uh, they were quite happy to be on the pitch. It's not something you get to do every day. Um, I think people were quite busy trying to get in touch with all of their families, friends and family because they're all probably worried. It kind of went both ways, people outside the stadium and in the stadium. How long but, were people no, kept inside the stadium before they were released and did the stewards know what were going on? I'm sure everyone did know because we all have mobile phones and people just got their information you know maybe if it wasn't from a mobile phone maybe people around them were telling them what was going on. Um, yeah there was no panic there was nothing um, I think I, I I thought there would be more panic because it was such a big thing that was going on outside but I think uh, the stadium did a very, very good job of you know, making sure they didn't release any information that would lead to mass hysteria. So it was good because no one got injured and everyone. And I think they were probably there for about one hour, maybe, something like that. And then after that, so that was like we finished around 10.45, so maybe around, I don't know, like, yeah, 10.45, so maybe around 11 or, uh, well, close to like midnight, people will probably start starting to leave the stadium, um, going to get public transportation back home to wherever they were going back to. Okay, thank you very much for your time, Riol Volkul.